Do you see your, your little green men here? Yeah, what the <laughs> is going on with this green guy? Okay, this is the Tenda village. These are the Tendons. Can we kill them? No, they're our friends. Presumably. If this they're, were Undertale, I could kill them. That's fair, yeah. That's fair. But we're not playing Undertale. Urge we're playing to Earthbound. Genocide Rising. I understand you urge to genocide rising. Right? We're, we're going to murder a bunch of aliens in this episode. Oh, good. Finally, well, the alien episode, plot yeah. comes back. You know, mm -hmm. I was wondering, wasn't that the whole, like, thrust of this so, game was yeah. an alien attack? Well, what do you think the, the thrust of the game has been to this point, Rob, while I'm getting the walker uh, ready? Let's see. We've got our childhood friend rival. Get who's porky. Yep. an asshole. Yep, um, so we, we found his helicopter lost in here last time. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's probably crashed. fine. Yeah, we, he's probably fine. He's probably um, fine, yeah. And, you know, he's, like, around in a driving force, but also, like, uh, if I remember correctly, like, aliens were coming to attack us, and somebody died in order to tell us that. That'd be Buzz Buzz, yep. We have to... Were they aliens, or were they, like, time travelers? So, Buzz Buzz was from the future, if you'll recall. So he's from the future. <laughs> yeah, and so were the, the, the star killer who, killed, who was sent to kill him. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, was he like a star? the Terminator. By the way, um... Was just, he a star? Huh? Was Buzz Buzz a star? No, uh... Well, then how did a star killer kill him? Well, he's a star man. He's not a star killer. He was like a—he's uh, like a Terminator. Uh, by the way, do you—you you don't have the hyper beam equipped anymore? Uh, why not? Because you now have a new weapon. Uh, the shield killer? No. Uh, death right. <laughs> <laughs>Okay, so last time we were here, we just, I just wandered into here, and now I can't oh, leave look, because computer. of story reasons. So yeah, so this is the Tenda village. Uh, they're they're like the borrowers. They're like the collective. So these are the Tenda. They're they're like little green men here. So shit. Uh, hotel here. Okay. Oh, hell, he Can I? I probably should heal up here. In the hole. In we have free stay. Okay, you stay. All right, there we go. Healed up. Uh, oh, look at that! You fixed uh, some I fixed stuff the here. Broken spray can. Defense spray. Well, that sounds promising. <laughs> Good uh, I wasn't me. able to buy bottle rockets though, so as soon as we get the opportunity, we got to buy bottle rockets. But that's, right. that's not a big deal. We're all shy. Rumor I heard a book to fix shyness. There is. Where? Don't know. Just a rumor. That okay. Was a so I, I actually think we can't actually talk to any of them right now. We need to go. Get a book that, cu that cures uh, shyness in order to get information from them. <laughs> Dale yeah! Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what we gotta go find. All right, but... Uh, I despise I, that book. Yeah, but way. actually we're getting a call right now from... Uh, do you remember... Uh, do, do you remember this person here? Uh, you remember Apple your kid. Apple Kid? No, hang on. Yeah, okay. Hey, this is Apple Kid! Actually, that's correct. I'm surprised you remembered that. <laughs> we're having beautiful weather here. I'm now at Dr. Hayden and it's Lab and Winters. Oh, good. It's your dad. We can go visit your dad. <laughs> the doctor doesn't seem to be around right now, but I'm just working on my eraser eraser machine. You know, for erasing erasers. For erasing erasers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, something's Am going on. Am I under on. attack from aliens? I don't know. Am I getting killed? <laughs> hey, oh no. What are you doing to me? Don't provide us any more details. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Oh, I put the phone down. Yeah. How polite. Oh, yeah, very, very polite. I think they probably turned off the phone. Uh, but uh, we got another call here. Uh, this is from our other friend. Oh, no. Orange <laughs> Kid, did I do this voice? You did this one, too, yeah. <laughs> what was different about Orange Kid versus Apple Kid? More of a snooty, kind of richy, kind of like tone. This is Orange Kid. There you go. We're finally coming near to the end of our research on... How to change a boiled egg back into a raw egg. He's truly working on the most important things. By the way, Apple Kid is missing. He left here saying he was oh. going to see Dr. Andonitz in Winters, and he never came back. I was hoping to borrow the book, Overcoming sh Shyness, from him. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. But yeah. suddenly, he disappeared. How convenient. I haven't read the <laughs> book, so I'm not very good at talking. Sorry. I'm fixing like an Elon Musk I'm, level of intelligence I'm with him. I'm also <laughs> working hard on my invention, so I hope you'll understand. Say hello to your friends for me. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so now you know what's going on here. So, I see, we, I see. we need to go rescue Apple Kid to get that book of shyness uh, fr and uh, go rescue him. <laughs> So he probably doesn't in. need to be rescued. He'll be fine. Yeah, probably not. Probably nothing's happened to him. It, pro probably just nothing at all. 
Uh, so we can't actually go to your dad directly. Uh, we have to go back to the boarding school here. <laughs> okay. You, you remember the boarding school, oh, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, with the monkey. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, is there anything we need from the monkey at all? Uh, I just want to check real quick here. Is nope. it true? Okay. Is what? it true that um, Hello Fresh is getting in trouble because any of their uh, food, like all their coconut milk, uh, is uh, acquired through monkey labor? I. Didn't hear that. How does that work? Are they not paying their monkeys a fair salary? That feels very I racist guess they just saying that out loud. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> the, what, what every, didn't say that. every part of that sentence feels problematic, Rob. <laughs> I didn't say the sentence. No, I, I'm very aware of that. Was this your, your trick to trick me into racism? Like, what, what are you doing? No, they use Is actual... Is this Thanksgiving at your mom's house? Actual... <laughs> <laughs> they use actual monkeys to harvest the coconut milk. I, I, well, I don't see a problem with that necessarily, as long as they're not whipping the monkeys. <laughs> Are they whipping Bruh. the monkeys? Is that what we're learning? <laughs> you know, this also sounds like a real problematic way to phrase your sentences. <laughs> it, it does, it does. That you're the one who's bringing up monkey You weight. literally don't. That's because they use actual monkeys to harvest their coconut stuff. Right, I understand that, but, like, what is the condition of the monkeys? Because, like, who cares if monkeys, monkeys are Monkeys can't unionize, things? okay? Well, sure they can't unionize, but also, like, as long as you're taking care oh, of the God, monkeys, right. who cares? <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I don't really know what the, uh... It's like, use elephants' trunks to get apples from trees. Who, who cares on that one? Like, they're, oh like... My God, uh, unless, unless you're you're being dicks to monkeys, like we can get get your phone at the end of the episode here. But yeah, Look, no. I don't have my phone. Can you tell me what's up with Hello Fresh and monkeys? I can't. So go grab your phone. I'll Alexa. Carry, I'll carry the show uh, as Alexa. I often do. Alexa, uh, I unplugged Alexa because I question. No, <laughs> I unplugged Alexa. You can't be trusted in here, Rob. I just want Alexa to tell me. <laughs> I, I know you want Alexa to tell you, I but I'm telling you the answer. Hysterical! If I if I asked Alexa like what the controversy was with Hello, are, are you Fresh. kidding? The the, <laughs> the, the, robot. the ACLU will come to our, my house and beat you up if you ask them that question. Are you kidding oh, me? <laughs> oh my God! Okay, fine. Go grab your phone. I'll I'll deal with the lesser mook in the whirling robo. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey. <laughs> All right, I'm carrying the show now. Rob is gone here, so, uh, yeah. Where, where'd your phone go, Rob? Where, where's your phone at? I don't know. Damn oh. it! Uh, do you want me to call your phone? No, that's it. Okay, well, then I can't help you, then. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. But then we can't get an answer to the question, Rob. <laughs> We, we, we can't get... We, we can't... Next we can't, time on yeah, Fetch Quest. Next time on Fetch Quest, Rob will have to find his phone, which will probably be the finale episode. How many for, times we, did I swear in the opening this time? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> As for usual, it's fine. Uh, I, I've gotten so used to just, like, spending, like, minutes just checking and seeing, like, hey, did Rob swear this time? <laughs> You, although sometimes it is me, I will, I will acknowledge that it is sometimes in fact me. Uh, but a lot of times it's usually just me singing something. <laughs> also the cold openers. Yeah, so or, or just me doing a bad pun or something. Like, that, that's usually all it is. Yep, I have some chewing gum. All right, so we gotta, gotta use Tessie. You remember Tessie, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Now, I don't know why they didn't just allow the ability for you to just go to your dad's lab, but I guess here we are. <laughs> Because they want you to do this. I mean, it's fine. I I don't mind. It's you know, it's just like. Wait a second. What? what? Oh, I thought he was leaving us. No, no, he's he's he's, <laughs> he's assuming the submission position and docking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. See, look at him backing that ass up. Now he it's did. time. <laughs> it's time to fuck Tessie. <laughs> what? <laughs> maybe I'll get. Maybe I am gonna go try and find my phone. I'll yeah, leave you alone. Yeah, with yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah. That's probably a good idea. I'll leave you alone here with the uh, purple monster dinosaur. Oh, speaking of purple dinosaurs, is the documentary out yet? Oh, uh, documentary's coming out in a week or so, I think. Yeah, I, I want to watch that. Uh, the Barney documentary. Yeah, the Barney uh, documentary. Where apparently, like, it's about how like all the actors who ever played Barney like drink and commit suicide and stuff. Like, it's it it's, it's like, like being a the host of Family the background. Feud. Like, I mean, like, it's, it's you know, it's a, it's a lot of that. Oh my god, dude, I fucking, like, do you remember, like, there was an era where Spike TV would just air a bunch of game shows and stuff? Yeah. 
Yeah, it was just like they're they're just trying to establish relevance. I just got reminded of one very specific one, the Repo Games, which I think oh, we God. talked about briefly. You did. Where, you texted me about that. That, that yeah. sounds like an amazing I, game. I, well, because like they they literally, it's a tow company that comes to your house and to repossess your car because you know you're yeah. you, you haven't paid your bills or what have you. You know, I'm I'm not speaking disparagingly about people who have done that. My sister is one of them. I will speak disparagingly about her. But that's a different problem. Um. I can't tell but, if you're trying to. <laughs> you you can't tell where, who, whose side I'm on. The, I can't tell if you're trying to be like, yeah, I'm not going to disparage you, but I do disparage people for this. I, but I disparage you know, my I'm sister be like, because my sister is. You're like trying to like. You're trying to like gain I, some I, empathy I, here with some section I'm of the audience the and needle, then immediately yeah. shitting all over them. <laughs> it's just you know sometimes sometimes you gotta try to make like a eye. personal connection, but also like tell but, them but worthless. But also I'm better than you. I know I'm better than you. But no. So this is like they, they show up to your house and it's like so like everybody is really pissed off and stuff because you know it's, it's a bummer to have your car says. Well, but yeah, then the sure. guy like basically like cash cab it's just like if you answer these trivia questions correctly you get to keep your car oh, God. <laughs> it's, it's just do they like, like know this going in they must have had to have signed something for the show uh, like. a lot of them are really sweary at them when <laughs> they, they are so if it's an act it's a good act oh, but man. also Maybe the it's reason why that, that show and try and get like the okay after the fact well but uh, well i mean obviously they have to do that because i mean like you know because there's cameras yeah. pointed at them and shit and just yeah, like yeah. you know n- none of them are in a great mood to see their car get <laughs> repossessed because it's a fucking bummer yeah i mean if somebody like was going to repossess my car and then said but wait well, like but wait yeah what if you did this game show instead yeah i mean i'd probably punch <laughs> him i'd answer- probably just fucking punch him <laughs> just be like- well it's interesting you say that because the reason why the show doesn't exist is because there were shotguns involved <laughs> Because uh, yeah. certain people were a little <laughs> more, certain people were a little more rednecky about. Uh, oh, I can't uh, even read the text because I left my phone in the car. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you said something about how it was Obama's fault or something like. Thanks, Obama, for stealing our guns. <laughs> uh, oh no, yeah, you uh, because you said it uh, it ended for the exact reasons you thought it would, yeah, and then I said well, because it, I said because suddenly everybody became fiscally uh, responsible and they no oh, longer had anyone to bring yeah. on the show. Yeah, nobody. <laughs> Nobody ever gets their car repossessed anymore at the end. <laughs> That's uh, exactly what it is. Uh, okay, so here's we got a bunch of cavemen and bears. <laughs> uh, you remember the cavemen, right? We can take them out easily now. <laughs> Although I am just going to spam my stuff because we're about to heal nice. up here. <laughs> but yeah, then uh, you proceeded to tell me it was because everybody got shooty instead. Yeah, know, yeah, and, there, there, there's a little in. bit of that. Is this like... It's like, I mean, there are also shows just like, you know, do you want to marry this this millionaire or stuff? Or like he says he's a millionaire, but really he's a homeless man or stuff. Like, they're, they're, like they're, they're just this era of game shows. It's just like I fucking blacked out and forgot that most of these things were things. <laughs> oh, man, those are some of the more that's some of the more like fucked up, like, you know, dystopian game shows. Well, right. Yeah. Because because we watched Sorry to Bother You uh, for election night this year. It's a game on there where it's literally called I got kicked. the sh- I got the shit kicked out of me. <laughs> it, it's just very dystopian. Uh, your dad is gone, too, by the way. Uh, yeah, that's that tracks. Uh, that's, we'll just use this revitalization machine here. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. My master Apple Kid completed the eraser eraser machine. While he was calling you, he was kidnapped. He felt like this. He felt I was like there, this? but I was helpless. Sorry about that. Anyway, take this machine. Wait, what do you mean he felt like this? Well, there's five exclamation points. Oh. He, he's trying to convey it. <laughs> he, he's, he's a mouse. <laughs> Damn mouse. Okay, we got the eraser eraser. Because I, I knew there was an eraser in the base. I just wasn't sure where we got the actual machine from. <laughs> it kids don't look very bright. Let me explain. These stones are making a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. UFOs often visit here. You must have seen it on TV or read about it in the tabloids. Yes, that's Stonehenge. <laughs> okay, so it's, we're, we're fucking Stonehenge now. This is in England, Mouse. Okay, we got the eraser eraser. Because I, I knew there was an eraser in the base. I just wasn't sure where we got the actual machine from. Okay, but yeah, no, I, I edited the episodes with uh, the uh, the guy who I insisted was not there. Uh. <laughs> he very much was. <laughs> he very much was. That's amazing. Yeah. I think we have a solution for that. 
Is it the pencil eraser? It's oh. the eraser eraser. eraser. A pencil eraser. eraser would not help us here, Rob. <laughs> but an eraser eraser, now that mm. does next level thinking. What an interesting invention. Uh, well, that, that's, an, that's an invention exclusive to the English version. I don't know exactly what the lore is for the octopus and the octopus oh. eraser or what have you. All right, so this is the Stonehenge base where, uh... Wait, from, is that what was normally blocking this spot? Huh? Is that what was normally blocking yes. this spot? So that's why we couldn't go here earlier. It's probably, like, an octopus is symbolic of a Martian, and so it's like, a, an get... eraser isn't, but... Yeah, it probably is, yeah, well, cause... But, but also, it's just like, that's not a thing that really makes a lot of sense to American culture. No, the Martian thing wouldn't... You'd think they would replace it with an equivalent... Well, basically, like a little green man is the, is the yeah. I wish you had cars. your phone on you so you could look it up, but I mean, basically, <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, we're stuck here. Oh man, just to speculate. All I can do is speculate. All, all we can do is speculate and probably be wrong, <laughs> and make people very unhappy with how wrong we are. So uh, those starmen, by the way, have a one in one hundred and twenty-eight drop rate to drop Pooh's uh, master weapon and the oh, only weapon great. he can equip. I'm not fucking around with that. We Good. can be in this place only one time, and once we blow it up, we can't come back. We're blowing it up? Oh hell Spoilers. yeah! This, this is the this is where the aliens live, dude. We're, Why we're... the fuck would they make it so hard for Pooh to get his item? Well, cause that's how every character's legendary weapon is. They all have specific monsters that are one in 128 chance of dropping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, 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 it's just, it's a thing. Well, we're probably going to get it anyway, so. Yeah, I'm sure we yeah. probably will. We'll probably yeah. get it here. Yeah. It'll be fine. Yeah, probably exactly right here. It's great. Um... Uh, yeah, so, although I, I shove up all rockets, but it's fine. We, we should be okay. These are some pretty weird aliens. Uh, I mean, they're, they're, they're just a colorful cast of characters. What can I say? <laughs> yeah, Earth, Earthbound is full of colorful characters, as it, it often has been. Why not have the enemies be as well? <laughs> look, look at that guy. He's got an eye in his mouth. <laughs> he does. He sure what does. What a nice guy. Yeah, he's, he seems cool. He's a triclops. Oh, shit. It's one of those exploding monsters. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, that sucks. Uh, oh, damn it. Well, oh, I'm going to lose all that health. That sucks. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I still lost them okay. mostly, but yeah, I got to watch out for those ones. Cause they're, they're like the fucking trees that blow up. <laughs> 12,000. Yeah, okay. The offense up is helpful. That's all helpful. How much PP does he get? Because I want to abuse the shit out of PK Starstorm. Four. That's nice. not helpful considering it's 2040 nice. use it. <laughs> that is not nice. That is the exact opposite Excellent. of nice, Rob. Well, are you on my side or not? I can't tell tonight. T what? I you, would never be. You you don't you don't have my you, you don't have your phone, so I can't tell what your motives and motivations <laughs> are tonight. Uh, but we start talking about Hegdeke Kamiya, so oh. how is how is your Bayonetta 3 adventure going, Rob? Huh? Fine. That doesn't I don't know. sound There's fine. Nothing, that, that, I, that sounds like you are fucking miserable. It's boring. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. There's nothing like it's not Fun. It's more. There's so okay. they introduce so many tedious things into a game that's supposed to just be about smooth and fast gameplay. Oh really? So that, that's what they're doing? They just just the the the, the simple too many things like uh, well, yeah. There's like five side levels where you're doing that side-scrolling sneaking stuff as Jean, and it's like that's boring. But it's different. Don't you like different? Don't you? Wouldn't the gameplay get boring if you do no. the same thing over and over again? No, because I have like 30 different combos I can do that I'm trying to learn, and every time you throw like a fucking kaiju battle sequence at me, I'm not practicing or learning combos, I'm doing some bullshit. Well, why can't you do the combos on the side and do that later? <laughs> Because I want to play the game. You are playing the game. You're just, just doing different things the with the game. game. It, 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 do you remember how in Spyro 3 when they made you do a fucking skateboard stuff in a Spyro the Dragon game? Where you I do, do remember that, actually. It, it, it's, just, it, it's just more of the same shit. Like, it, it's just like, you know. The, 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 I have no problem with variety in a game. Where, where I have problems... It's just where, where I have problems with it is if... The, the things that I'm doing are not fun in comparison to the things in the game that I enjoy doing. I mean, yeah, okay. But yeah, I mean, that's the problem. That's the problem with the game. All of these, like, side things are just boring. Like, the kaiju battle stuff is just like, you hit a button and there's a delay between when your giant guy attacks the other guy. And so it's like a rock, paper, scissors of which button do you hit, but it's oh, that, that, that does sound miserable. It's like a worse version of Punch-Out. <laughs> yes, and then you have, like, a life bar, and so you have to try and kill him, and I didn't get what buttons were what in the rock paper scissors game so i lost the first one and it's like a 10 minute fight that that, that does sound miserable and bad and but so apparently you're not allowed to play bayonetta 4 then is what i'm hearing 
Whoa, whoa, I haven't said the game's bad. What was it? What, what was his? his well, tweet? His, his thing is, if you if you say the game is bad, uh, he is. Uh, you, you're not allowed to play. Oh, oh, I didn't say that the game is bad. Oh, I said okay. it's, it's got a lot of tedious. I said it has a lot of tedious. Well, well, we'll see what you think of the ending, because apparently a lot of people told Hideki Kami on Twitter the ending ending sucks, and he's very unhappy about that. I don't even know. Like, but, okay, so when I was going into this game, there was a little bit of controversy because Polygon uh, released like an early review. Uh, um, or, like, you know, because all the places did some of their reviews, like, a day or two before it came out. Oh, right? yeah, well, that, that's, like, most games. Yeah, and Polygon's review was just, like, you know, that person also shipped Bayonetta and John, which is fun, but it's not, like, canon by any means. Um, okay. And so then they were, like, super butthurt that What's-His-Name, the dude character, and Who, Bayonetta... Who, uh, vers- voiced by Yuri Lowenthal of, uh, <laughs> anime and Spider-Man fame. <laughs> <laughs> they mean, he's fine. He, he's, um, like, I... But I always assumed, like, there was, like, a thing with them. I, just from I mean, the little bits that I've like, played... There was always, like, a flirty thing going on, but, like, nothing serious. They were pretty generally... Separate characters. Gotcha. I okay. I, I pictured them. But they're still basically separate characters so far. And I'm oh sure. In. Yeah. I, I just pictured them getting together, like based on like the the like the flirtiness of like the two characters and stuff. And oh how, yeah. I like, could definitely see it happen. Yeah. Um, yeah. Th- th- this is what I always assume was likely to be the case. But, yeah. Uh, so yeah. I like went into it being like ready to be exasperated that that was going to happen. And uh-huh. the further and further they get into it, I'm just like, I could care less now if that happens or not. <laughs> like the, I could like, I am so not invested. Oh, I can in just this. kill the Starman straight oh, up damn. if I get him into a, a, a thing. That's nice. I like that. Nice. Um, <laughs> Which also means I'm way too high level for this area. <laughs> but maybe it means you can, this is how you get the, this is how you get the, the weapon. I mean, I can just literally just get it from a drop. That's not wrong. Boy, howdy. I'm Do just they drop th- anything, though, when you kill like this? They, they, they can drop stuff like this, yeah. <laughs> Only problem is I can't get him like that every time. Yeah, yeah. But it's fine. Oh, two of them, that increases my chance to get it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the, uh, you know, for the, the Bayonetta thing, I'm so un- in, like, not in- uninvested. Uh, in the story, I just do not care what happens. Well, like at first, I was gonna be like, "Oh no, are they gonna like kill off Jean?" Um, or "Oh no, are they gonna like kill off Bayonetta?" Are they gonna get uh-huh. like, edgy? Because most of the game is about Bayonetta being killed off. Sure, well, yeah, because um, it sounds like it's a multiverse of just Bayonetta dies it's over really and over again. It's really fucking annoying. <laughs> it is, and. And Bayonetta, like, Prime, or Alpha, or whatever the main Bayonetta is called. I mean, we don't know that she's the main Bayonetta either. No, 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 the antagonist calls her, like, Bayonetta Prime or something. Oh, uh, okay. Like that. Or Eve Prime or something. Uh, I don't Bayonetta C138. Like there's, like, an C-138. Adam and Eve. <laughs> he's doing the classic bad guy thing where he's like, I'm the smart bad guy. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to call you by your name. I'm going to call you Eve every time I run into you. And it's That's like, okay, annoying as shit. There's something weird going on here, obviously. Um, yeah. But, uh,. So, like, she's being called, like, the main one. Maybe she won't be in the end. I don't know. Maybe she'll be one of the clones and dies in the end, and it'll be a different Bayonetta. But every time... This is how much I don't give a shit. Because the the (laughs) multiverse thing happens, like, every couple of zones, and Bayonetta just sits there and then watches the other Bayonetta die and doesn't Uh, try and help out. And it's like, why? Why do you sit here and watch the other Bayonetta die every time? The Marvel multiverse has not actually started yet, and I'm so fucking bored of the multiverse, (laughs) the concept. Yeah, the best use of the multiverse is everything everywhere all at once, and everything else I don't give a shit about. I don't care I don't care what your multiverse is gonna look like anymore. I just don't care. I'm tired of it already. Yeah, I found the story. That's that's what I also found like the the main story so far is just kind of in the way. It's like tedious. But it's yeah. it's the game is taking it so seriously, and these like cutscenes come in. But then, like, Bayonetta just sits there and watches the other Bayonetta die and, like, doesn't do anything. It's like, how am I going to be invested in the, what's going on if Bayonetta isn't even invested in what's going on? Yeah, that, that that's just a problem with character writing in general. Like, you're, you're, if your main character doesn't give a shit, why should your audience? <laughs> it also seems like Bayonetta, like, the other, the, like, punk samurai you play who's, like, interesting character concept, still boring in execution. Um, oh, God. It seems like there there's like something going on you know the story is hinting at and either they're making it seem like she's bayonetta's and what's his name's kid 
Sure. Is, is kind of like what it is so far. I don't know how it actually ends up going. In okay. The I, I don't actually know either. She has. I've not played Bayonetta three and likely won't. <laughs> she has some kind of like relation to the guy character, um, and she has his grappling hook or whatever. But oh, like, okay. Everybody dies. Well, he can just have a grappling hook. Like what? If he he can just have well, a grappling hook. He's got a grappling hook and flies around everywhere. So she has a grappling hook and flies around everywhere. And oh, she was okay. like I got gotcha. you. In the opening, she's like Bayonetta's protege. Right before that, Bayonetta dies. Like gotcha. that world, Bayonetta dies. And then her whole world collapses, and so now she's jumping around multiverses. And like, okay. Bayonetta is pretty fucking blase. Like, every world you go into, the big antagonist shows up at the end, and then you like fight, and then the antagonist is like, ha ha ha, and then fucks off, and then the whole world you're in collapses. Oh, so, oh, okay. so it's like every universe you go to collapses. And it, it's, Bayonetta it, doesn't give a shit. And it's like, how it, do, Is what? it just doing the Rick and Morty thing where nothing matters because everything is there, so yeah. nothing matters? Yes. That's unfortunate, because like, Rick and Morty will do that message way better than fucking Hideki Kami could ever try. And the problem is, <laughs> New York Prime, so like if this is if this Bayonetta is like the original world or real world Bayonetta or whatever, uh -huh. New York Prime got wiped out. Fucking 10 million people just dead well, in like the second level. And we'll, we'll talk about that at the start of the next episode, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it comes back. I, do it, I, I don't know. Yeah. You know something. Uh, well, I don't know. It's next, time for next time on Fetch Quest. No, next time on Fetch Quest. All right, take it easy, everybody. I'm going to explore this place. Go grab your phone. Yeah. Yeah, go find your phone so that way we can. That, that way somebody can look up the important information. <laughs>